Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Nerd Talk. Today's topic is Is Water Wet? I'm joined by Jeremiah and Recoded J5. Links to their channels in the description below. So, uh, Recoded J5, what is your viewpoint on this? Uh, on Is Water Wet? Yes. Well, <laughs> I, I, I would say no, in that it makes things wet, so it itself can't be wet, in the same way that one isn't a prime number. Wait, what about prime numbers? One. The number one is not a prime number, because to be prime it has to be divisible only by itself and one, whereas one is only divisible by itself. So, although all primes have one as a factor, one itself is not a prime. In the same way, so water makes things wet, but water itself is not wet. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so let's hear a viewpoint. So, now, um, while I think of a counter argument to what you just said, by for more examples, I'm gonna I'm gonna share my main argument on why water is wet. So, let's say you have a paper towel, and mm -hmm. um, and you dip it in some water, and, and now j just like a corner of it. So now, or 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 it's it's a little damp. Like I don't know, it uh, it maybe like condensation. You you wipe down a window that's full of condensation. For some reason, you did that. Um, so uh, so now let's say it's ten percent water, and it's ninety percent paper towel. I would argue that it's ten percent wet. So it, now now let's say you uh you dip it in some water for just like a split second, they take it out. So let's say it's like fifty percent water, and then fifty percent paper towel. So there's just much water and weight as there is paper towel. Um, now and I'd say it's fifty percent wet. Uh. Or, or fifty percent to completely being wet. Now, now let's say that it's ninety nine percent water, and one percent paper towel because you just like let it soak in a pool of water for like four days. Um, so when you take it out, it, it just like crumbles apart because it's just so much water. Um, so now it's ninety nine percent wet. Uh, but but then when you ha when it's all water and it's a hundred percent wet. Now. Um, as a counter argument to your prime number thing, is one really making something a prime number? Like, if it's if it's factored by one, does that make it a prime number automatically? Because that would mean every single whole number would be a prime number. Okay, okay, let's let's stick to is water wet. Let's do this another. Time. <laughs> no, 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 but I, I we're gonna go down. Argument. Okay, we're gonna go down into a rabbit hole that we're not gonna be able to come out of. <laughs> let's stick okay, to the topic okay, here. Okay, 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 but. but but another example is, uh, let's say they have a piece of lava, okay? It's very hot. It also makes other things hot if it touches them. Okay? Like... Oh, okay, that's interesting. Something can be... Something can have a property and also make other things have their property when it has it. Like, let's say that somebody's infected with the flu. If they touch someone else, they can... Uh, that other person can be infected with the flu. So, something can have a, a property and also be able to spread the property. I've never heard of it like that. Though. That's very interesting. Hmm. Okay, Recoder Zephod, would you like to dispute his arguments before I begin mine? Uh, uh, yeah, sure, sure. Um, can do, I suppose. Uh, so, you're arguing that water is the only 100% wet thing. Everything else is partially well, no. wet. Anything, anything liquid. Anything completely... Anything... Well... Ah, so something that's oily is also wet. It, it really depends. Okay, okay, so I don't mean liquid, but viscous. Um, because, like, I mean, uh, what's it called? Um, stuff on the road. The stuff that roads are made out of. Uh, top asphalt. Mac? Yeah, asphalt. Asphalt by itself, like not mixed with other rocks, is slightly viscous. It, it it is technically a liquid, but it takes like I think it's like months in between uh, drips. If you just have straight asphalt, like the road is asphalt mixed with rocks, or at least yeah, I don't know. Um, wait, okay, so uh, yeah, so I would consider that wet because it's barely, barely 
like a liquid. It's it's not viscous whatsoever. Yeah, but if if you have oil which doesn't actually have water in, mm-hmm. would you still call that wet if you poured oil onto a paper towel? Would that be yeah. a wet paper towel? Yes, yeah, so it would be wet paper towel. Just like what? if you for um What if you melted something? Yeah. If you melt some metal, does that become wet? It, it, I, it, I wouldn't call okay, mercury. Well, <laughs> I mean, when you think of melted metal, you think of something that's, that drifts really slowly. That's not very viscous. It would be part partially wet, but also when you think about it, if you put it on your skin, it's going to dry your skin. So so you're defining things as how wet they are by whether no. they would dry or wet. I, I, I'm, saying, I'm saying it's partially wet. It has some characteristics of something that'd be wet, but it also has some characteristics of things uh, that wouldn't be wet. But but also like you, you know, um, like drying a paper towel, or uh, what am I saying? Um, when you dry off using a towel, a towel, the, the towel gets wet. That's like kind of the same thing. When you put molten metal on your hand, which is wet, your hands become dry. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, okay. I I don't I don't suggest doing. Okay, we're not promoting well, putting molten metal on your hands. Like, you took like mercury, which it doesn't have to be like hotter than room temperature to be liquid. You put that on your hand. I wouldn't okay, advise. I, I won't suggest putting hand, that on your hand but... either. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Josh and Nerd's but... channel is not promoting putting mercury or melted metal on your hand. <laughs> Technically, mercury is a melted metal. Um, Anything that could 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 be considered as melted. Okay, yeah, yeah, but but calling it molten is suggesting it's hot, which would be why it dry out your skin rather than. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but like melted metal, that's how I was saying. But um. Yeah, we're not suggesting putting any form of liquid metal on your skin because usually those things do not end up feeling so good. Yeah, still, if you took something which isn't water, you're you're saying that would also be wet if it's a liquid. Yeah, but it depends on how viscous it is. It, it, that's one thing in my definition of it. Like, okay. uh, like polluted water. Let's say that it's like 80% water and 20% pollution. Uh, and like, its pollution is something that's like very mucky or whatever. Actually, I'm just going to take mud for example. Let's say there's mud that's like 30% water. Yeah, it's it's a little bit wet, but it's not like as wet as just plain straight water. I don't know. I, I'd use the word watery to describe that property other than wetness. Because I think a bit of mud, which is 30% water, the actual mud there is very wet. Whereas... Yeah. Well, I, I would say it, it's, it's, it's I wouldn't say it's as watery. wet. I wouldn't say it's as wet. Okay, so Josh, what's, right. your, your, what's your argument? Okay. <clears throat> so... The reason why water is wet, because... If it was dry, we'd all choke on it. I'm just kidding. That's not my actual oh, argument. I got that. Okay. From, I got this from Good Mythical Morning. I just wanted to say that. Okay, that's not my actual argument. I thought that's pretty funny though. Okay, so that's before good. I begin, I just want to, um, I just want to lay something down. So we all agree that the definition of wet is covered or saturated with water or another liquid. I got that from Google. Do we all agree with that definition? Um. Covered sure. or saturated with water or another liquid. Okay. So that sounds about right. right. So, if water is wet, that means water is covered or saturated with water or another liquid. Correct. That would make sense, right? Okay, but then if it's covered by water, would you just call that more water okay, rather than okay. one bit of water? Here's, covered no, 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 here's no, no, where no, no, my no, argument or, comes. Covered in. or saturated? Okay, saturation. Right. Okay. Um, okay. It, it, saturation. Okay, I, I'm, I'm gonna. You know, I, I'm gonna go on a like big set of definitions. What, what is the exact definition of saturation? We need okay, 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 okay. Saturation. <laughs> saturation is the state or process that occurs when no more of something can be absorbed, combined, 
were added. Can water dissolve water? I think dissolve needs the solvent and solute to be different things, doesn't it? Um. Well. It... Uh, okay. okay. Can, you, don't, can water... you wouldn't say you dissolved some sand in the other sand. You you wouldn't even say you dissolved well, you... like pebbles in sand. Well, you dissolve things in liquids. Okay, and you're not going to be able to dissolve okay. sand in liquid. Okay. Or so... at, the, at least in water, maybe like some some acids, but okay. Do we all agree that that's the definition of that? Of yeah, that, um, that right. Good. Okay. All right. Good. That sounds decent. Okay. I want to ask Recode Zephod a question. I'm, this is just uh -huh. a question. You can answer it any way you like, and I'm not going to judge you. If water is not wet, like you say it isn't, right? Josh, you're breaking up, just so you know. Can you repeat that? Okay, I'll say that again. So, if water is not wet, what is it then? It's water. It's watery. It's watery. <laughs> okay, well... well okay. It's it's like the ultimate. You get like dry things, wet things, and then water. Okay. Or other liquids. Okay. 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 Also, would you consider water or salt dissolved in water, like, like the substance itself, uh, salt water? Would you consider it a liquid? Uh, yes. Okay. It, it, it's a solution, right? But it still behaves well, as a liquid. You well, can still pour it, it still fills its container. Mm hmm. Okay, I, I forgot where I was going to go with that. <laughs> Just a second. Okay, can I carry on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, anyways. So, so you don't think water is dry then? I, I don't think water is dry. I, I think that would be. Uh, an odd claim to make. Okay, well then, what is it then? If it's not wet or dry? Uh, are you saying it's like in between? Because Jeremy, let me could Zephod answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think like the idea of wetness applies to liquids themselves. Oh, okay. So you. Oh, okay. I, I, I know where I was going. I know where I was going with that thing. So, um. So, if wetness does not apply to liquids, and mm -hmm. you would say that salt water is the liquid. Then what's the difference between that and a and a grain of salt that's slightly covered in water? Uh, well, a grain of salt covered in water isn't dissolved in water. It, it, yeah, so... yeah. Would you say a grain of salt covered in water is wet? Yes, the the salt is wet in that case. The salt is wet. You're saying? Yeah, but like the the thing together is a piece of salt and some water. Okay, interesting, because this is actually going to segue really great into my argument, then. Okay. So, so if you have a, like, if you, if you have a salt uh, molecule surrounded by mm -hmm. water molecules, you would call that wet, right? Do you agree? Uh, hmm. I, I would call the salt You'd call the salt wet, wet I guess. Right? Okay. Although, if, if we're talking about molecular scale, I'm not sure, like, yeah, I, okay, okay. wet and dry say, would... Say millions of, of, of salt molecules surrounded by millions no, no, no. of water molecules. One salt molecule surrounded by <laughs> other water molecules. Would you call that wet? Just your opinion. Hmm. I mean, it, it's surrounded, it's just physically in proximity to, or is it, you know, having interactions with... Interactions. That's because you know, at that point, it's like it's it's dissolved in the water, right? Yes. It's yes. It's it's one object. The salt and water is it. You group it as one thing. Yeah, yeah. So, so the salt's the, wet. Then the right? whole thing together, I wouldn't call wet because but I consider would it you one call the large salt object. wet? Would you call the salt wet though? If it's surrounded by a, like a I'm single more... salt. Yeah, the, the I mean, single salt it, molecule dissolves. If, if in I water. had to say whether that single bit of salt was wet or dry, I'd probably say wet. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, so the definition of wet is covered, or saturated with water or another liquid. 
So let's say you got your pants, or I, or I guess your trousers wet, right? That, that means <laughs> wow, Josh, that's pretty <laughs> neat. Thanks for the translation there. That's uh, <laughs> useful. <laughs> wait, 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 pants is like underwear in your country, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. that is interesting. <laughs> okay, so let's say let's say you got your trousers wet, right? Your, your trousers are covered with water now. You would call them wet, right? For, for yeah. everyone in America, trousers are, are pants. <laughs> but, but for everyone in Britain, <laughs> when, whenever you say pants, you mean trousers, for the most part. <laughs> okay. I mean, it, it's cool, though, because like, we call pants underpants as well as calling them pants. So, oh. like, are they meant to be under themselves? It's it's one of those cases yeah, where the I American language actually makes more logical sense because yeah. the underpants go uh, it, under. It, it's very the pants. rare, but you know, American English. <laughs> so every once in a while, will make more sense. But then then again, we we say like underwear. It's like wearing under. I, I don't know. Okay, can you continue the question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Try, try, let's get back to the water. Okay, so a salt molecule covered with water, you'd say is wet, or surrounded by water molecules. Yeah. Okay, so let's say you got your trousers wet. So on a molecular on a molecular level, that means the molecules or the or the atoms, I guess. I go well, I guess. No, they would be they would be yeah, yeah they would be molecules. Did you say say the the molecules areas. unless you've made your trousers out of uh, like pure elements. A, a, a solid solution. <laughs> the solid solution. Okay, so if you, if you, I guess, zoom in, for lack of a better term, right down to the molecular level, on the wet spot on your trousers, you would see mm -hmm. water molecules next to your trouser molecules, for lack of a better term, right? Trouser molecules. <laughs> <laughs> trouser <laughs> molecules, trouser yeah. Molecule. Yeah, and, and the molecule surrounded by water, or, or like with the water, I guess, would be wet, right? Because that's technically what it is. Mm hmm Okay. Just replace the trouser molecules with water molecules. So now you've got water molecules on top of water molecules. So now they're making each other wet. Okay, so the thing is, you, you would say that that bit of water is wet, but wouldn't you just describe it as a whole bit of water? It's like, it's like talking about a single wave in the entire ocean, right? You, you would say a whole ocean. You wouldn't say that wave is sitting on top of the rest of the ocean. It's you. You would group it as a whole thing, and it just becomes the same bit of water. Okay, yeah, so so if you have enough water molecules to fill up a container, right? You you're not the entire the, the all the water is what you're saying, right? You're 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 talking about all the water. Yeah, you you wouldn't talk about the the drop of water that's in the middle of your cup of water. Oh. You talk oh. about all of the water in the cup together. So the, the single drop in the middle of the cup, which is surrounded by water, maybe I'd call that wet, but I, I can't think of a situation I would talk about the single drop in the middle of the cup without talking about all of the water in the cup. But Okay, so right, if, if you're able to take a water molecule, well, theoretically, hypothetically, if you were to take a <laughs> water molecule and surround that one water molecule with another w water molecule surrounding it on all sides. Would you call the one in the very middle wet? Uh, yeah, probably. Although well, okay. I can't imagine that situation coming okay. up. Is a... Yeah, well, yeah I, I know. I, it's well, weird, but that's, my, that's literally my argument. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. so, so, so recorded. Yeah. Um, okay, okay, so would you consider Salt dissolved in water at a one to two ratio of salt to water wet. And not just salt, but the whole thing. The the whole thing is just salt water, right? I think I think it's that that's the thing, because you're you're talking about an individual part of a whole when it makes more sense to refer to the whole. Right? Yeah, but I I think the whole. The whole. But it's like um, if you're talking about uh, a house, for example. Well, what what part is actually the house? It's just lots of brick molecules and water molecules and clothes well, molecules. I, I, I'm saying that what if the only thing in the universe? <laughs> okay, the only thing in the universe. 
Okay, you're it, even going farther than I am. It's a of salt water at a two to one ratio of water to salt. Would you consider it wet? Salt wet. No, 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 no. The thing as a whole, don't, don't, the, the don't... entire universe, which is just salt yep. and water. is the universe wet? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I okay. 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 okay, okay, okay. Unless you have a leak. Water outside that universe covering it, and then that would be. Okay, okay, okay. But, 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 but then you'd just call it a bigger <laughs> blob of salt. Water. That's a side <laughs> point. I'm just saying that <laughs> so we wouldn't would stop talking about the parts in the hole. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so so now now let's say that you have salt and water at a 10 to 1 ratio salt to water, okay? And, and that, that's just that's with mass. Would you consider that salt dissolved in water, or would you consider that water dissolved in salt? Salt dissolved in water. That's what I'm saying. It's salt water. Well, would you would you still consider it salt water though? Because I mean, it's ten to one. It, it's it's basically no, wait, wait. Is it ten parts salt. Yeah, ten parts salt. Oh, I don't, I don't oh, think it actually dissolved to that concentration. Yeah, it's not gonna dissolve. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It won't. It won't be able to dissolve, but let, it, let's say that, 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 that yeah. all of them got yeah. randomly arranged. <laughs> let's say that all of them got randomly arranged, so it seems as though it's more like salt. damp salt, actually. It's... Yeah, yeah, it, it'd be like damp salt. Would you consider that that salt wet? Yeah, the salt is wet. Okay, so you're saying that the more water you add to it, the less wet it becomes. <laughs> Because hmm. I, I, I just said I just said that, that all the molecules were randomly arranged uh, okay. as if it was dissolved. Okay, I, I... that would never happen. You, you never know. There's not enough water molecules to dissolve all the salt, so that's wait. What? I, I, I don't think I don't think it becomes less wet as it becomes a solution. I think well, it becomes well, well, you something said, that well, you said doesn't have salt a wetness salt water, value. You said salt to water at a at a one to two ratio. Um, isn't wet, while at a ten to one ratio, it is wet. So, so, no, no, yeah, but I'm not saying that there's a linear scale between the salt being wet. Yeah, yeah but, and but, but what I'm saying is the salt why, water. Why would you consider? Yeah, I'm saying there's a cutoff somewhere where the property of wetness no longer oh. applies. So you're saying okay, 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 you're okay. saying it's a yes or no so, question so, then. So, so, what's it's the cutoff? It's not. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get to this. What's the cutoff between wet and not wet? Well, what's the, the cutoff whole, the whole of, of, of a liquid of liquid to um to to solid? We could get into gases along with it, but we're not. I can get into that um, yet, at least. Well, I, uh, I'll ask a physicist. Um, <laughs> it, it's it's about being able to fill its container. Uh, no, that's fluid, isn't it? Because gases do that as well. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Is it gas for it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, if, if you evaporate a whole load of water in the air, does the air become wet? It would become humid. Also, yeah, also, but it's humid air wet. Is liquid carbon dioxide wet? Because I mean, like, solid carbon dioxide is called dry ice, you know, so. I think it's just a name that was given to it. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, ice isn't even. Uh, uh, ice is dry. Like, if you have ice at negative 300 degrees... Oh, wait. Uh, what's zero Kelvin ah, in Celsius? Uh, so ice is dry. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Surrounded oh, oh, by water. What is zero Kelvin in Celsius? Oh, wait, Jeremiah, I just realized something. Minus 273, is it? Something okay. like that. So, so if, if you have negative 272 uh, degree, degree ice, it's not going to be wet, okay? It'll just freeze your fingers to it. Hold on, Jeremiah, I just realized a hole in our entire argument. What? You just said that ice is dry, right? Oh, yeah. ice, is, have... ice, ice is water, Jeremiah. You just called yeah, water. So if, if ice is dry, then water is okay, dry. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Jeremiah, there's well, some hole in our No, 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 no. Ice is... <laughs> okay. Water. When we talk about water, we mean liquid water. Oh, liquid water. Okay. Oh. L yeah, let's clarify that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When you talk about water, okay, okay, it should be pretty self-explanatory that we're not talking about is steam wet, okay? <laughs> but is or, or, wet? or or is plasma water wet <laughs> when the electrons are escaping the water molecule? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy.
<laughs> we're, we're not mm. talking about that. Um, but we're talking about liquid water. So, yeah. So at what point does adding more water make it go from wet to dry? Because that really doesn't make more sense. No, 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 I, I don't think you, it ever becomes You're saying dry. as you add more water, it becomes... It, it, it's closer to becoming dry. It gets... No, 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 no. As you add more water to a solid, it gets wetter and wetter and wetter. If at some point the whole thing becomes a liquid, the concept of wetness or dryness doesn't apply anymore. So you can't call it wet, and you can't call it dry there. It's a liquid. Wait, so, so are you saying that if... If there's one salt molecule to trillions of water molecules, that salt, or it, it's, it's telling what part of it is wet. Is the whole entire thing wet, or is the salt is just a salt wet? It, is it dissolved? If it, it, it's not dissolved, the salt is wet, not the whole entire thing. The whole entire thing is, well, it's, it's a system well, of. Well, I, I mean, things. I mean, you said. If if all the if all the molecules were arranged randomly at a ten to one ratio of salt to water, then it would be wet. So so why is why, why is adding more water? Well, because mean it's, it's not, not like wet? dissolved that way. Because oh, well, it, you could it, you could argue that, that the water was dissolved in the salt. Not... In that one, well, you would have to have molten salt for that. <laughs> well, something else you probably shouldn't put on your hand. <laughs> oh yeah, have you seen the backyard scientist videos about putting warm salt in water? I don't think I have. It, it's 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 really cool, but um yeah, we're like advertising tons of channels. Like this. Okay, let's go. Let's go back. Let's go back. <laughs> First, good mythical morning. Um, <laughs> then the backyard scientist. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, not the backyard. Actually, we've only advertised two. Oh, and, and, and also and, and the you advertised, lab. you know, recoded lab. and uh, my oh, yeah, yeah. channels. And the action lab, because it's Jeremiah's argument. Why? Because your argument is based off of his argument. No. Yeah, it is. No. It's, it's very not. It's very similar to his argument. No, his, his argument is the ratio from water to a uh, paper towel. Yeah, and Jeremiah, like, part of your my, argument uh, is based my, off Mine is a percentage of it. If you're talking about the ratio, then if it was completely water... Then it would be undefined wet. Oh, it'd, it'd be infinitely, infinitely. It, it, depending on depending on how you look at okay, so, 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 uh, uh, one, one divided by one... zero, depending on how you look at one divided by zero, it could be undefined or infinitely wet. I mean, it's, people don't talk about things being a percentage wet. That either this is wet or this is dry. Yeah, I agree with that. And 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 either way, like even things people dry, there's probably some moisture around it. Technically, yeah, okay. yeah. But, but but would you say that that if you like that uh, if you just like went to a beach or something and then you like start drying yourself off, you're getting drier. Yeah, because yeah, you're losing water. It's dry, okay, so so, so so that means that that dryness isn't one or zero. It's anywhere, or wetness isn't one or zero. It's it's anywhere in between as well. No, no, because you can you can get. Uh, you, it's not necessarily a percentage of wet. You you can be. Oh. Hmm. I you could argue that you're. Uh, oh, what's that word? I don't know. But um, I I, I forgot the name of that mathematical so, so, so yeah, yeah. Well, operation. But wetness scales. Some things are wetter than other things. Okay. And things which are so 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 why isn't one grain of salt or uh, one one sorry molecule of salt in in a pool of water less wet than uh, a ten one ratio of salt to water? Because he said he said he said that that's he said that that's not wet, and and if, if it's if it's you know. Uh, zero to one. The single, the single bit of salt you could say was very wet, but I'm saying you consider it as part of the whole salt water, which is just a liquid. Just saying. Wait, I'm not following. What's his argument? <laughs> so, be because I'm saying that if you had one bit of salt 
in lots of water that that I, I wouldn't call that wet i call that a liquid but lots of salt with a little bit of water i would say that was wet okay okay so 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 you're talking about the whole of the 10 to 1 ratio of salt to water would you say that the whole is wet the whole no i'd say some of it's salt and some of it's water But, but, but you, 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 don't, you don't wet. think as a okay. So, what's the difference? As a whole, it's well, it's what's salt. the difference between a molecule of water or a molecule of salt that's wet and not wet, covered by other water like, molecules? Or, well, I said a salt molecule. Well, like, like like I said, you could have like single molecule of water. And that would be wet if it was surrounded by more water. But I can't see any situation in where where you'd be talking about the single molecule of water. Well, you don't you don't need to talk about the single of molecule the water. of water. But every molecule of water inside of a cup of water is surrounded by other water surrounded molecules. By, it's surrounded by other water molecules. That that is so, so you're saying that because all all individual molecules would then be wet. The whole must also be wet. Yeah. Yeah. If everything, if if you say that. I have 11 balls and all of them are red. Would you say all of the balls are red? Yes. And, and to, to be clear, we're talking about bouncy balls. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I, I just if you have 11 balls here. and all the balls are blue, would you call them blue balls? I, I assumed you are talking about, you know, pool balls or snooker balls, so... You know, <laughs> whatever you want to take it as, as long as it's like... You know, you know what, never mind. We're really done talking about that. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna go off of that. So if you have if you have 11 balls, hey, 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 Josh, I still explain it. So 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 if you have 11 water molecules and they're all surrounded by each other, would you consider that very very small drop of water to be what? Hmm. Okay. So each is all wet. bit is wet. But I don't consider the whole thing to be wet. Well, because, why not? Then, then, then why, why would you consider 11 uh, red pool balls to be, a, as a whole, the pool the pool balls uh, are red? So, so because if you're defining um, being wet as being surrounded by um, water, well, then the whole isn't surrounded by water anymore. Because right. outside it is, you know, oh. a cup or whatever is holding it. Because the water well, is still is all inside it, so it's not covered by water anymore. It, you have it to like get rid it, of a single surrounded. layer. So it's surrounded or covered, they're the same, aren't they? Uh, the synonyms. I, I I would say surrounded is more on all sides. I I wouldn't say on all sides. That's not well. Covered would just be on top of. You're covering. If the book. you're standing next to a, a bath of water, you're not wet. You have to actually be in the bath of water well, to be wet. Yeah. But the water, okay, water okay, molecules okay. are in with other mo water molecules. Like together. Yeah. It, it, they're, not, they're not a few feet away from the bath. Like if there's. It, yeah, but. We're not, yeah. Okay. If, if you're. Um, okay. Uh, imagine a submarine. The submarine itself is wet when it's underwater, but the people inside it, or the things inside it, aren't wet just because the submarine is, and they're inside the submarine. So... So equally, I don't think having the individual things inside being wet means the things, the whole thing, but, is wet. But if, that's, if you... that's the exact opposite of what you just said. You, you just said if part of a... Of a if part of the... I'm, like... I'm saying that it doesn't equate the, the whole being wet and the individual bits being wet. You can have one without the other. My submarine's showing it one way, and my argument is referring to it the other way. But the point is, yeah, they're not exactly. equivalent. So, so you're saying if part of the submarine, if you're considering the submarine as it and the people inside of it, then, and you're saying that the submarine's wet and the people inside of it are dry, well, for the most, uh, for, for the most part, they're dry. Like, you know, yeah. Actually, no. Equal, for the most part, they're not dry. Uh, like, you know, like seventy percent water. Well, Never yeah, mind. with you know, sixty-six percent wet the whole time. Well, but okay. Let's let's say you have just one 
if you've seen that that just one uh, molecule of salt inside of the submarine surrounded by other molecules of salt is dry, but the hole is wet, then you're proving my point anymore. That means that not all of it needs to be wet to be considered wet. So, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. If there are two... If, if there's a... Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so if you're saying that, then the one... The, the hole in the one um, molecule of salt compared to a, a whole entire pool of water. That whole entire pool of water would, would be wet because just one part of it was wet. Just like in the submarine, just the outside was wet. No, no, no you don't get a whole thing becomes wet just when one part of it's wet. Yeah, well, right? because, that's what you said in the I, submarine. I, just the outside of the submarine's wet. But you can say no, the whole entire pool. Ah, okay. No, I'm not saying that the submarine becomes dry because what's inside it's dry. I'm saying that the whole thing wetness value isn't the same as the wetness value of the things inside it. The things which make up it. So just because the inside's either wet or dry, it doesn't mean the outside is the same. Well, we're not talking about the outside, we're talking about the hole. The hole then. Uh, the, yeah. The, the same thing applies. Just because the bits inside are wet or dry, it doesn't mean the hole is wet or dry. Okay, so... I mean... The problem with this whole entire argument is you can look at it both ways, and both ways are right. That's the thing. That's why, <laughs> that's, that's why we're here, Jeremiah. Because <laughs> you could also if, say if only that a submarine right, only... out of yeah, water with a glass of water... And... <laughs> You could also say that a submarine out of water with a glass of water inside of it is dry. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You could uh, fill but, a submarine but, with glasses of water, and, and all those and, glasses would be wet, but then the submarine as a whole could be dry if you... you know, and and, and if you think about it like that, then, then, then you kind of think that what the outside is dictates if it's wet or dry. But then if you, have a gla if you just have a glass of water... The outside of the glass of water is not wet, it's glass. But the yeah. inside is wet, and we consider the whole entire thing wet. So, really, because of the English language, e either could be argued. And, and because because the definition of wet is just so not well-defined, because there isn't a very good definition for it, e you can argue in either, ways and you, in either way, and you'll be right. And I, I'm gonna I'm gonna point out another YouTuber here. Um, Vsauce three uh, made a video like a few months ago about a room with. Um, okay, well you're just gonna need to watch the video. Josh might put it in the description if I tell him what the URL is. Um, but it, it was talking about. Well, it actually it was a different Vsauce video that talked about how two answers can be right. Um, but but basically, in that video, there was something that both answers could be right. You either had an 88.8 uh, .8 repeating or so chance, I think, or something of dying, or you had a, and you had a 1 in 36 chance of dying. Um, Tony, are you looking at it? And you're both Is right. That when, yeah, no, that's the In the with, room um, with the, the peel that multiplied by 10? It, it's about perspective of things because one of them. Uh, because of their perspective, it meant they have access to different amounts of information, because I think in that specific example, the person on the outside knows that the game has stopped, and the person's played it, whereas and, 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 going into play, the event hasn't happened yet, and it hasn't ended, so it discussed all... But each person had 1 in 36 chance of surviving. Actually, you could have manipulated the dice, but that's, that's beside the point. Yeah, um, except you're ignoring all the people who end up not playing from your infinite pool of people, which which is where you actually get a discrepancy because they're, they're both right, but it's because they're based on having different information to calculate their probabilities. Yeah, but also bo both are right. If you if you look at it uh, like um, out of the whole. Uh, I have a uh, ninety percent, almost a ninety percent chance of dying, but 
me myself, um, if if I just look at out of my uh, group, I have a one in thirty six chance um, of dying. I mean, it was a pretty cruel game, to be honest. Like seriously. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. It's an interesting thought. Well, and, and I think it's a legal game from, as well. Uh, if it, plus having infinite people <laughs> i mean it, yeah it, <laughs> it involves some dodgy ethics and some problematic setup you, you um, know it kind of seems like like the holocaust <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay sorry to laugh but you, you know what? okay it's yeah. yeah so, so, we, we were talking about water. Yeah. How did uh, how did we get here? <laughs> <laughs> about you, people you dying. About like, how, you know, um, two things can be right. It, it, it can be um, right, even even though they're opposite. Mm. Like oh, like another one. Things that they can't be is, contradictory. It, it, is is the absolute value of x equals four? X can be negative four or four. And they're completely uh, opposite, but they're both right. Ah, that's a good way to think about it. Yeah, I, I still think it would be... It'd certainly be wrong to say water's dry, though. Well, it also depends on what definition you're going off of. And because cause I would I'd say that saturated is different than the definition given by Google. I'd say that white is different than... This, a little bit different than the definition given by Google. But so it's to do with how people use the word. But, 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 it's, the, but it's also... The, what, is, what is just such a hard word to define? Yeah. Yeah. You, you just can't define wet. Like it, it's it's just wet. You know. Like it, it, it's it's like the word ah. Uh, okay, you can't define ah. Uh, a. Or it, the the you know the, the letter the indefinite article. Yes. The indefinite article, or you know, one of the indefinite articles. All you can <laughs> An say indefinite is indefinite article. Wait, hey, yeah. what? An indefinite what? article. You use it to define itself. Like, the is yeah. the definite article, but you still have to use that to define the. Or, or you can use a definite article. Yes. Because, well, well, I'm, uh... like, well, well, the problem is, if there are two if there are two types of definite articles, then you could say a definite article. And if there are, if there's one type of indefinite article, then you could say the indefinite article. Yes, you'd have to say an indefinite article. But, but still, you would be able to multiple. define either because you would need the other um, <laughs> to, to define that one. So, so it doesn't matter. Like, you can't define the word the. You, you just need to learn how you use it. And I think articles are dumb anyways. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I guess a lot of languages like that where you've got words and it, you, it's how they're used, which is how they're defined. They're not a strict scientific term because, yeah, you, you're not going to put a percentage on how wet something is because wetness isn't a technical term with numbers. Yeah, you can say the saturation of water or the percentage of water it has, or yeah. however you want to define it, or how, what, what's the percentage of the surface of the object that you're talking about, how much of, of it is covered, it has surrounding water molecules. Yeah. You, you, you can say create surface, a... Uh, but then again, the glass of water, the, the glass on the outside, is not surrounded by water. I'm like, if you put if you put a you know plastic seal on top of the glass of water, then then that proves my point even more. Yeah. If you define it as what's the surface of it, well, then it would not, and not any of it would be water. But then you can also, it, it's it's just too hard to define. I mean, you you can make useful terms which are similar to something being wet and are precise. Like you said, the percentage of water is made up of, or the percentage of the surface which is in contact with water. But I think, yeah, because wet is used in so many different ways, it's hard to have one which actually does define what people mm -hmm. mean when they say wet. Yeah. So it's just an, you just can't define it good enough to to have a yes and no. That's just a problem with the word wet. You can't say it's definitely this or it's definitely that. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's that. But, we, but like, it's still, it's still a general definition. We all know um, that 
a molecule of salt is not wet. That's a general definite. Uh, like, we can say examples of things oh, yeah, that are okay. wet. So, so, so there's things which everyone will agree are wet, and there's things everyone will agree aren't wet. And then there's, and then there's water. Just about one thing that, <laughs> that you know, there's water. <laughs> <laughs> and, and plus, like, is molten salt wet? And then how viscous does it need to be to become wet? Well, it doesn't, it doesn't or depend is, on viscosity. Or is mercury yeah. wet? Wait, what? It doesn't depend on. It doesn't depend on viscosity. That has nothing to do with. But, but, but think about it. Like, like salt that just like barely drips, or molten salt that like barely drip. Would you consider that wet? But then. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, let's say near frozen mercury. Uh, actually, not. As mercury I, I gets I'd, I'd, close, I'd, I'd close to freezing, yeah. it's still around the same viscosity. I can't think of a good enough example. Maybe like salt or something, or not salt. <laughs> sorry, uh, glue. <laughs> Maybe it's just too hard to define. <laughs> you can think of it either way, and you'll be right either way. Um, and you know what? I think that's a perfect spot to end it, actually. Yep. So you know what I'm gonna do? That's good. What I'll do is I'll, I'll I'll put a poll at the beginning of the episode and at the end of the episode, asking people what they think and see if it changes at all. See if we can, if anything, convince anybody or anything. Well, if they watch they might the entire change thing, their answer at the beginning of the video. Wait, is, is it just don't change your answer at the beginning of the video. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, we'll see how it goes. Well, we could set up four polls, saying <laughs> set up infinitely many polls. <laughs> Make we can set up a poll at every single point in the video, and, and then we'll see. <laughs> Then you know, because you have such a like Josh, not too funny or anything, but you have such a little audience that you could, you could, <laughs> one person just like trolling you, uh, like it, they think that water isn't flat, and then they just say water is flat for both of them, like, or, or, or they're just like on the verge and they haven't changed their decision at all. They could say it's not for the first one, that it is for the second one. They could just mess up your entire data. So okay, well, Jeremiah, this isn't a, like a scientific study. I really don't care. I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're not going to, you know, you use the result of the polls to define what is and isn't categorically wet, and use that for to police everyone's language. Shameful. Uh, also, recorded. Do you think that uh, the thumb is finger? Okay, we'll do that next time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Okay, but recorded. What?